G'day folks. Oh, I'm just having a bit of a tidy up out here, finally. Still haven't gotten rid of the hose reels though, so I can't stack stuff down there. Uh, found some material to make a few impromptu mortises for the turret. 38.1mm uh, stainless bar off cuts. Uh, my work had a big stock take today, so a lot of stuff went in the bin and subsequently in the boot of my car. And uh, yeah, I'll be able to make my tool holders with these. Blade's running alright, I'm using a pulley and idler system down there. Up the old brook motor. Doesn't like high gear. Not with only two horsepower. As you can see it works well in low gear. It'll take nice hefty cuts. I was doing this the other week. It's better than what one of the China lathes at work can do. That's all we've got the Chinese crap. Yeah, that's what I picked up. A lot of stainless. cabling and stuff. Controllers. Another old battery charger, 24 volt DC. 6 volt lamps. Arches. Yeah, good stuff. Well, time to take the plunge. The housing is going in. Or should I say the housing's going to take the plunge anyway? <laughs> Definitely seen better days. Don't even know what that white stuff is. Like masonry. Like the grime on the underside of this thing could be a hundred years old. No idea. And this generator's been around a lot longer than I have. Even me dad. Maybe me grandmother. It's one old unit. Inside's got a tarry substance on it from when they painted the poles with it. Well, that fits rather nicely. I've still got about four inches off the bottom, so it uh, should get a nice even clean. I just have to make up an anode stack for the centre. Uh, don't have any 13 inch car wheels or anything like that floating around at the moment, so I'll just visit the scrap yard and see what I can find. I guarantee you there'll be a few there. Just for the hell of it, I'll give it a quick buzz and see what it does. Fans up. Humming. Yeah, bubbles coming up immediately. Very quick. <laughs> I want to 
see what kind of amps this thing's drawing, so I'll shut it down shortly and wire the uh, current transformer through the primary of, or the secondary of the, tra the uh, AC transformer before it goes into the rectifier stack. Uh, that way at least I'll get a rough idea how much current's coming out of it. And that's working very quickly already. Okay, well I've been fiddling around with this thing for a while now, trying to get the amp meter to work. Uh, obviously these current transformers don't read DC, so I'm trying to read AC coming straight off the transformer. I've tried that lead and that lead, which go into the rectifier pack, and come out over here as the positive pole. Uh, the negative off the transformer is all bundled up in here, uh, going through this choke coil out to the negative side, just connect it to the workpiece. Uh, swapping this jumper lead around doesn't change anything, and that's positive going out to the anode plate. Uh, direct current obviously. And neither one of these leads wants to make the amp meter work. I'm reading ripple current, but that's about it. The meter barely moves above 20. Uh, these welders are capable of quite a bit of amperage, so I don't really know what's going on there. Maybe somebody will be able to give me a tip on it. There's a few little wires in here designed to limit and change the current of the transformer, but that's only primary stuff, not secondary. I'm only working off the secondary here. Uh, just about to hook the uh, current transformer across this regular AC arc welder and see if it actually works. I mean, it could be a problem in the current transformer or the amp meter. I've tested the amp meter using the uh, 7 volt rewound transformer, microwave transformer, and as soon as I touch the leads together, it flies off the scale. So, definitely way over the amp meter's capacity, but it hasn't damaged it. It proves that it works. You can't really blow these amp meters up because they have a, a current reactor instead of, or current transformer, instead of direct current going through it, in which case an overload would kill it. So I'm going to try the uh, I'll try the 200 amp one again. Alright, let's see how this works on a regular stick welder. It's a uh, 200 amp meter, and I just fed the cable through once. I don't loop them around anymore. the juice a little bit. Better. It's at around 140 on the Variac, but I'm using the low side. Pretty respectable. Oops. It's lost our control. working on that MIG transformer. Oh, I'll play around with it tomorrow. Thanks for watching.